If you know how to do copywriting, you can get paid really well. For example, on Upwork.com there are numerous people who are earning anything from $50 to all the way more than $200 per hour for copywriting. This lady Jame is for example earning more than $225 per hour for copywriting and she has already earned more than $1 million for copywriting on Upwork. In this video you are going to learn 7 copywriting tips for beginners from a man who has made millions of dollars online with copywriting. He is Kyle, the founder of Wealthy Affiliate, which is one of the leading online business communities in the world. He has recently created five copywriting classes, so I decided I will take notes from this multi-millionaire copywriter and I'll share them with you so that you can also benefit. This is the first copywriting lesson of this series and if you want those four other lessons as well, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because I will be publishing them in the coming weeks. And if you want to watch Kyle's copywriting lessons immediately, you can simply click the link in the description, watch Kyle's lesson and you can also ask directly questions from this multi-millionaire copywriter. But let's start right away with the tip number one and that is goal of copywriting. When you are writing something, what is the goal of that? Well, the goal is always to get your readers to take some sort of action. You are trying to persuade people to do something. This means for for example, getting them to buy a product or fill out an email address on a landing page or go through the training that they have just bought or get people to read your advertisement. Get people to do certain kind of action. You, you always should have that goal very specific and clear in your mind. What is the action that you want your readers to take after they have read your text? Tip number two is be relevant. You should always ask questions from yourself such as who are you talking to and what are they looking for? Because let's imagine that you are talking to a young woman who is let's say 20 years old and then compare that talking to a father of three children uh, who is 40 years old. You are going to talk in a completely different way for these two different people. So you need to have in mind who is your target audience? Who are you talking to when you are writing your copy? And then the second question is that what are they looking for? Let's say that a 20 year old woman is looking for makeup and then you should write for that purpose. But let's say this father is looking for, for example, the best toys for his children. You are writing in a completely different way. So you should always be very relevant and really target your audience specifically. Make sure that the title of your article or email or whatever copy you are writing and the content, the actual text, they are congruent. So for example, if your title is learn five steps to make money and then you are starting to write about guitars or toys or whatever other things it's not congruent you need to start giving the tips how to make money uh, in that example or if your title is learn four ways to play guitar better but then you are writing about playing a violin that is not congruent so you should always be relevant with your title and your content number three is probably the most important of all and that is you need to build trust with your readers because if people like you they will buy from you, they will buy your ideas and they will buy your products. But if they don't like you, they will not buy from you, they don't buy your ideas, they don't buy your products and they will not do business with you. So you need to build trust and get people to like you. And how do you build trust? How do you get people to like you? First of all, you help people. Give them answers what they are looking for. For example, if you create that uh, article with the title, four ways to play guitar better. You give that answer, you explain them, this is the first technique, this is the second technique, and this is how you will become a better guitar player. You give them answers for what they are looking for, you help them, you care about them. You can't rush immediately to sell in. Let's say you are trying to sell a guitar with this article. In the end of this article you tell that uh, here is the best guitar, you should buy that. But you cannot do that in the beginning of the article. Let's say that the title is four ways to play guitar better. But then in the first paragraph you tell that hey, here is the best guitar, you should buy this immediately nobody is going to buy but if you first give tips for example this is how you can improve your techniques this is how you can get a better sound out of your guitar and then once you have helped them once you have provided them some value then in the end you tell hey by the way here is the best guitar that you can buy right now they have a discount or whatever then you have already built trust they are starting to like you because you gave them something of value and then you can start selling them whatever is your promotion and that is just one way to build trust or you can also if you are building a blog or let's say also YouTube channel enable comments because it builds trust with people when they can ask questions also if you enable comments 
performance in your blog or website it can boost your google rankings and then more people will see your blog posts i've also noticed that when you show your face in an online world that usually builds trust because people see that you are transparent you are not hiding anything but again this is optional and that is just something that i have noticed but it's not obligatory before we run into tips number four five six and seven i would love to hear from you in the comments what are you writing for are you writing a, for a blog or email list or a landing page type in the comments for example if you have a blog like i have a blog or i have a website i would love to hear from you where do you need this copywriting skills i would really love to hear from you number four is be interesting compare these two examples let's say that you are writing an essay at school for your english teacher or whatever like spanish teacher you are writing an essay you need to be very formal need to have all the punctuation so everything needs to be 100 percent perfect when you write for your friend you are talking in a much more relaxed way and you are uh, maybe using informal language and all these kind of things and when you are writing your copy usually you should use this kind of informal language write in a way that you would talk to your friend to your best friend even oftentimes your text doesn't need to be 100 perfect but it needs to be interesting not an english essay one good example is also that with english essays your paragraphs usually need to be like minimum three or four sentences long when you are writing a blog post or email or any copy usually one sentence paragraphs are also fine short paragraphs are fine because they grab people's attention fast advice number five Compare selfish and selfless writing. You should always aim for selfless writing. And the main difference between these two is that the selfish writing is completely focused on selling. You're just trying to sell a product like buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. But with selfless writing, you are focusing on helping people. With selfish, you are trying to sell, only to sell. That is the focus. With selfless writing, you are trying to help and care about your readers. And oftentimes in the long term, with selfless writing, you are going to get much better results because people you are going to trust you they are going to recommend you towards their friends and all good things can happen but if you are only focused on selling you are probably going to get rid of all the customers and nobody wants to buy from you because you are too pushy with your sales letters let me give you an example when you walk through a car store and you want to buy a new car let's take the first scenario the salesperson comes to you and he starts telling you hey here is a new car you need to buy it it has this and this and this and this feature and here's another one they have so many benefits look how beautiful it looks like he starts selling you immediately tells you how beautiful cars they have how they have all the benefits all the features everything he's selling you most likely you will be like okay i will go to the next store i'm not going to buy from here and then you walk to a next store and then a salesperson comes to you and he says hey what are you looking for how can i help you he starts asking you questions and he sincerely cares about you like what are your needs and what the kind of car you are looking for that also builds trust as you learned before you are going to like that salesperson more so you're much more likely to buy from him because he's genuinely helping and thinking about your needs instead of just selfishly trying to sell something number six Think about your structure. This can be extremely simple. We can divide this in three steps. First, you have intro. And in the intro, you simply tell people what you are going to talk about. Then the second part of your text is the meat. We call this a meat. And here, you simply talk about the topic. Then the third one is conclusion. And now you simply tell what you just told them. This can be really simple. You have intro, you have meat, you have conclusion so simple this way people they hear the message three times first in the intro they hear what you are going to talk about then in the meet you talk about that and then you repeat it in the conclusion and you have some call to actions like what should they do next and always remember that within your content within your post within your email you always need to deliver what you promised in the title so if you promise in your title to give those four guitar tips you give those four guitar tips for example then let's move to number seven you research the content and then you write and usually research takes actually more time than actually writing the copy now i want to give you an example if you are writing a blog post because i know that a lot of you in my audience you are creating your own blogs so if you write the blog post first you want to research the topic let's say for example four tips to play guitar better you type on google four ways to play guitar better then you open for example 10 different blog posts posts on Google. While you have those blog posts opened, you are going to have a notepad where you are going to write notes from those other blog posts. What is good in them? What kind of ideas they give? How do 
until they captivate the reader's attention. Then you write a long list of notes. Once you have done that, you are ready to write your own blog posts. You have this long list of notes and now you're simply going to focus to write your own blog post and don't distract yourself because many people do this that they open their own blog post, they start writing, then they check Facebook, then they check Instagram, then they check TikTok, then they check YouTube, so on and so forth. They get distracted. I recommend and also Kyle recommends that when you start writing your blog post, you start and finish at one sit. You don't get distracted, you simply follow your notes and then you write it at once. You will be much more faster and much more effective if you do this. One thing I also want to point out that when you are getting ideas from other people's blog posts, you never want to copy and paste because I saw some beginners, they sometimes copy and paste content from other blogs, but that is not good, that is against the law and in the worst case you may be sued for copying and pasting content. Yes, you can get ideas i recommend get ideas from successful blogs but never copy and paste content that is not good now tell me in the comments which one of these seven tips was the most important in your opinion type for example one or type two in the comments i would love to hear from you and make sure that you have subscribed to my youtube channel learn to make honest money online to learn even more about copywriting and making money from home when you enable notifications you will be the first person to hear when i publish a new video and if you want to learn directly from that multi-millionaire Kyle who has created these copywriting classes and lots of online business training check out link in description for wealthy affiliate there he will walk you through step by step by step how you will be building your own successful online business my own life has completely changed since I have followed Kyle's training I went from a complete beginner to making a large income online so I can highly recommend learning directly from Kyle thank you very much for watching and you and me my friend we will see you in the next video on learn to make honest money online have a wonderful day my friend